Talisa Ray, and we made it to another Truthful Thursday. Last week, we talked about chivalrous behavior. I asked you, is it, is it dead? Is chivalry dead? And ladies, you said, no, chivalry isn't dead. No, it's well and alive. Blah, 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 blah. whoop, whoop, wham. But the fellas, the fellas hit me in my inbox, sent me a text message, called me if they knew me, honey, and was like, wait a minute, cuz oh. Hold on, fam. Wait, love. Talisa, are you kidding me? I thought you was telling the truth on Thursdays. Oh, that's like karate chop because I tell the truth on Thursdays. What's the problem? What, what's the problem? Some of y'all don't know how to receive chivalrous behavior. And after listening to them, I'm going to have to say I agree. Some of y'all heifers have lost your mind. We have grown so accustomed to the knuckleheads that, hey, baby, how you doing, girl? What's up, sexy? Rolling weed, standing on the corner with their swap meat plaid shorts on and white shirt. You know how they look dusty. You done got so accustomed to that type of behavior, them coming and texting you when they pulling up, calling you on the phone, hey, yo, I'm outside, honking the horn, that you just, have just become complacent and think every dude is like that. Listen, this is coming from the fellas. I'm just relaying it because you know I tell the truth, okay? We're going to have to fix that. We're going to have to fix that. Listen, I, I and you're going to say, I know, I know, because when they was talking, I was like, oh, they was they young. They don't know no better. Ain't nobody telling them they ain't got no mentor. It's the, ha, 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 I wish I was telling the truth. It's not. It's my age bracket. The men that I talked to said they date women anywhere from the age of 35 to 50. Some of them, of course, date a few younger women because they got older souls. But I was like, oh, wait now, huh? My age bracket? You have got to be kidding me. There is nobody that's 40 years old not knowing how to receive somebody asking you to sit down. Somebody giving up their seat for you. You at a bar and your feet hurting. Y'all know what it feel like to be in them four inch heels and you, when you looking and ain't no seats and you and your girls is like, damn. And somebody says, would you like to sit down? What do you say? You say, thank you so much. My feet hurt. I'm so grateful. Not, I already got a man. Where'd they do that at? He was like, I told her, I wasn't trying to holler at you. I saw your feet were hurting. I asked you if you wanted to sit down, but it's cool because I like my seat. And so now he a dog. <laughs> now, 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 he ain't a gentleman. He just asked you if you wanted to sit down and you clowned him with, I already got a boyfriend like he wanted to talk to you. Even if he did, he changed his mind. You knew you needed a new boo. You knew he had, well, the dude you with ain't treating you right. He the, How about... I couldn't believe that we ain't saying thank you when they holding the doors open. We think they obligated like. I'm just appalled at the thought that people in my age bracket act like this. It can't be true. They had to be lying on us. So I said I was going to just bring it to the masses. They had to be lying on us. But you know, truth be told, I know some of y'all act like that. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've seen it with my own two eyes. You ain't got no kook. You're not elegant. Yeah, no. You ratchet on the bottom of the rung. I've seen it. I've seen it and you are ruin it, ruining it for the rest of us that know what it looks like. I had one fella say to the girl after the date and he treated her so well and had great conversation with her. Conversations about things other than music awards and love and hip hop and basketball wives and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Hell, even power, though. I love me some power. You know, nobody wants to talk about Tasha and Tommy and Ghost and Angela the whole time. No, they were, you know, real conversations like, you know, Trump and Hillary, real conversations about where we're going as black people. He wanted to have real conversations and it was too deep that she had to say he was gay. Now, listen, ladies, we do have to, that's a qualifier that we have to be conscious of. We have to consider whether or not the men that we fool with like other men, not if they're gay, because if they're gay, if they are gay, we would know they're gay because they wouldn't be talking to you. But they'd be on the down low. I get that. We have to determine who they are. I get that. But there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. I know that there are men still trying to deceive us. 
you know, and be with us. We end up being their beard and have no clue because we didn't ask God first. That's another conversation for another day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But fellas, we do, we have to ask. But there's a way to ask and we'll talk about how to do that in the upcoming weeks. I'm gonna have to talk about it because I was uh, I was shocked, astonished, appalled. I couldn't believe that somebody would just be like, are you gay with a neck roll and a, and a hand hip, a hand on the hip? Are you gay? We gotta do better, ladies. We have to be able to recognize a gentleman when we see a gentleman. We are so used to the knuckleheads and being treated a certain type of way that when a good dude that genuinely is interested in us and takes interest and spends time with us, we overlook them because we don't know what it looks like. Now, it's one thing that you don't like them. It's something about them you don't like. That's one thing. Just don't go out with them. That's the best thing you got going. But it's another when you were interested. It was something about him that intrigues you and you go out with him and don't know how to receive the courtesy, the respect, the kindness that he's giving you. I hope you heard me today. I'm Talisa Ray, and I can't wait to talk to you again next Thursday. You guys have a wonderful week. Next week is going to be a whole new topic. We're going to shelve this shivery shit because I know y'all got it.